there's a lot of things you can do outside of football. Uh, and some of the things you do outside of football is you own your own gaming company. Mm-hmm. We'll talk to us about that. How, like, Big smooth, we all we all grew up and our parents transition. smooth smooth transition. God, I, hey, keep it going. I apologize for interrupting, but I had it's, to, bro. So suck smooth with smooth. All right, let's uh, yeah. So when we grew up as kids, you play video games. And your parents are like, I don't know why you're doing this. You're never gonna make money off that. Blah blah blah. Times have changed, mom and dad. All right, get with the fucking times. Yeah, because you own your own company. How that uh, talk to like? How do you even start that? When did it uh, start? For one, it was scary as shit because yeah. you guys know that when you go to the symposium. All they talk about is how everybody lose their money by doing shit like this. Right. 30 for 30. Or, yeah. Or putting in some some damn studio or some shit trying to get sure. into the music game. I've done both. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> my man my man was at a symposium. Yeah. Yeah. They said, don't do this. He goes, all right, bet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's not even get started with that. I had a whole spiel and I'll get right back to the. To the topic. Yeah, go I'm ahead. So okay, okay. We yeah, like to. Right. You can go anywhere you okay. want with this podcast. You started, but go I'm ahead and start. I'm talking to these kids about social media and next thing you know. The kid that was asking the question about social media is on a private chain, a private private jet with his chain on, sipping on something. And I'm just like, I literally just told this kid, like, not even on close friends, like, do not do this. I told him that the the day before, that yeah. next day he went off and did his own shit. So it's hard to to tell young kids what to do. Kids nowadays, yeah. am I right? Yeah. Private but no, jets. But no, listen. They always Flexing. they also said this, which I did, which I did take personally, which is invest in something that you're passionate in. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was very passionate That's into the gaming. Personally. All right, I invented it. Okay, you invented a I game. I invented Rise Nation. Like oh. I invented this, so I didn't okay, buy it from I was like, nobody. Okay, what are we mm-hmm. we started it. off. We started off streaming our gaming on Twitch, which Twitch is probably the biggest leader when it comes to to streaming. Which YouTube is trying to get into that as well. But I started on Twitch. Somebody came up with the idea, like, "Hey, start your own team." We did this before it was considered a sport from ESPN, and then next thing you know, we're just growing organically and it doesn't cost that much right Mm -hmm. it's just kids playing games and you know they're winning like ten thousand dollars you know you take uh, a certain percentage but you know you make sure the kids are making money you take all of the the marketing uh, for selling jerseys controllers energy drinks like all that stuff you take all the marketing yeah yeah you take all the marketing Cause they take a they take a big chunk home like you them only, kids got a union up yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 they they're, they already they already control they already have a lot of control really in all of these it's, it's pretty crazy but you know I got into that and then it just exploded we uh we got into the sports business journal for being I was the only active player to 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 be in esports at all the only other person was Rick Fox this so, was at the time yeah at that time so yeah so it was Rick Fox and then Shaquille O'Neal started getting into it, and then A. Rod started that man's getting in into it. Um, OBJ started getting into it, and then it just like just Kenny Vaccaro is also in that, right? Yes, right. Kenny yeah, Vaccaro, Kenny Vaccaro got into it after me, um, Flex. which which he was. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He did a good job. He did a good job with marketing for his team, and and his team is is pretty much on this game Destiny, which don't have a league just yet. But all these competitive games are becoming. What like is Destiny? Is it league. like? Is it like? A it's cod like, or like a it's like a first person oh, shooter we're dummies with, in the comments right now God, hey look, yeah, i don't i don't know I the know, games like okay. that it's, you want to pop on nintendo 64 first <laughs> bet. or Let's rocket go. league or rocket league right. catch some hands oh yeah yeah you got the rocket league down pack yeah right? we do we do rocket the league <laughs> but no nah, yeah so it's destiny so destiny is like this like space first person shooter and he was doing great with that he was he was partnered with twitch and everything so Shout out to Kenny for that, man. Shout out to Kenny. Yeah, that was, that was this is good. Destiny right here on the YouTube thing. Yeah, but I started off. I started off with Call of Duty, and okay. I'm talking about Call of Duty Four when it, the, the mania started. For so are you still shoes. in it? Yeah, I'm still in it. I'm still in it. I'm not. Oh I, yeah, I'm yeah. Not, boy, I'm got big. In, I'm not gonna put the boy stuff in, out there, but he he got I'm some not, shit going on now. Okay. I still got a ton of com- contacts with with Call of Duty, and I'm definitely trying to get a franchise with them next year because obviously because of covid just messed everything up and then also valorant my valorant squad is like one of your the what squad valorant valorant another game, another game come out that's just like almost like uh like search and destroy you know you only got okay. one life you know you dead you dead for the round yeah really Whatever. yeah so question like rainbow six yeah i love yeah. rainbow six yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like look at you guys finding yeah. common ground just like that uh. but gears of war too i mean we got everything well, how did COVID mess up video games? That's what I was, yeah. Well, what it did is it made all of the the streaming way better. Mm-hmm. And nobody got to go to live events. So they're still not making as much money mm-hmm. as they could have been making. Live so events is where the cash to, is at? Yeah. Mm, so gotcha. when it came to expanding the league, which they wanted to bring four more teams on, they were like, yo, we're, we're just going to stick with these 12 teams. 
until we're able to upgrade again. And we want you to own a franchise because everybody knows you in the space. So we're like, okay, we're, we'll, we're, we'll be down for that. And now my Valorant squad is they're already on their way. They've already qualified to be in like land tournaments. They're going to be at the Staples Center playing. We've had a street fighter guy who won everything. He was the best street, fight, street fighter player in the world. Um, and he was from freaking Brazil. Yeah. I got Vietnamese players, Canadians. <laughs> guys in the UK it's, it's my boys it's, international yeah we're international so it's, it's it's really exciting it's really exciting how do you find talent like how do you find <sighs> these Man, dudes to make a team the thing is is like players <laughs> these days they're only playing from like 18 to like 27 once you start to get to a certain age you start trying to like leave the game but still be a part of it kind of like we do so mm. instead of going into broadcast casting and shit they're like oh let me be your scout your scouting guy for for this game let me be your person uh who who's like a manager for this team mm -hmm. and then we've been using it like that and we've been finding all these people and we, when we send people out to look for like these top gamers and maybe they don't have an org yet they just kind of just funnel right into us so we got really lucky we had the one of the the, the top Madden player in the world and then he left us because he got a fucking job with EA Sports. I'm like, I can't compete with that shit. Yeah, you know? I can't. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's in the game. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's literally in the game. <laughs> what, how, why do kids stop playing at 27? I feel like that's a game like, what do they get? 10 nights in the thumbs? No, no, no. Your reaction time. <laughs> what? Your reaction time. These young kids that come up that, that come up playing, they're, they're, they're what they call cracked. They're able to just move and lock on to anything that moves. Just yeah, so you smiling. Faster. You know what that is? You know what crack is? Yeah. Not crack, the drug. You know what I'm talking about? What he's talking about. Crack. You know what he's talking about? You're a gamer like that? Yeah, oh, hell yeah. I've been gaming like COD 4. Like, How old are you? Oh, so yeah, one more year. So right, you're about to be over it's the, the hill. It's, it's the truth. It's the reaction time. And it's even younger. I'd be like 14. Yeah. 20-year-olds too. Just crack. ridiculous. Just ridiculously good at, good at the game. And... And now these guys are starting to do uh, these these multi platforms where they can let PC guys get into it. The mm -hmm. PC guys are even crazier. Yeah, they got they got a whole bunch of different they shit. Don't with know them how home. they make their fingers move like that. Like I stopped I stopped trying to play the guitar because I kept fucking my hands up. Right, football, you know what I'm saying? Fuck. Can't, can't do shit, dude. That's some wild shit. I didn't a, know that's that a the reaction thing was like industry. that. Yeah. So how, how do you make money? Oh, dude, you win championships. They have championships that have for millions of dollars. At the end of the year, usually the, the season ends around July, August, and then after that it starts back up again around January. It's 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 complete madness. I've been to these events. I mean, people go crazy. They dress up like characters. They're fanboys. These these kids that are on these teams are like superstars, but they're not superstars on like Instagram. It's all on Twitter. So you'll see some random guy that plays Call of Duty. He'll have like 200,000 people following him. To really? watch his clips of him just killing people, bro, and that's he, insane shit. You can get paid as an individual. You get paid as an individual, like oh yeah, well, like a bus with the boys sponsor somebody. You're like think, you're like paying to was, be advertised on their Twitch Seth, stream. I guess so. Seth on Optic, he was he was he got sponsored by like, I think it was Brisk, like like Brisk tea, it's delicious drink, Brisk iced tea. Yeah. Like he had his own brisk guys tea. Oh, like like this is this is crazy. So why does an why would an individual come and be on your team if they can be individually sponsored and just stream Twitch? Oh well, that's because that's what they 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 have the same competitive, you know, kind of vibes that we have. You know what I mean? So they want to compete still. They don't want to just be a streamer because they feel like they get bored. Oh, okay. You know what I mean, like Ninja's able to do this because Ninja's that do with the, cur yes, the colorful yes, hair, cause, right? Cause he, yes, because he could do on the all cover of ESPN. That. He could yeah, do, it's crazy. He could do he could do all that and just have a great time being on just that space. But also, he's not good enough to be on a squad to be able to get competitive like that. Oh, so he's he's washed, dude. He's his his. The so he's kids, just an influencer. Yeah, he's, he's an just influencer, an influencer streamer. Because there's kids on the game that are so much better. You see him go to like big time events. I think that he had a huge Vegas event where he was going like head to head with some of these guys, and he lost most of them. Really? Yeah. Hey, Ninja, overrated. Yeah, that's Roger Saffold said that. Yeah, Roger Saffold now. Personality. Take you a long way, that personality. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He started really popping when he had that blue raspberry hair. Right. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I know I know who you're talking about for sure. You good? Yeah. Looks I'm like just you're, thinking about this whole it? game. It's like well. you were digesting. I'm like thinking in my mind like what it's like running that entire operation of it's the also, gaming world. And when it comes to investors, it's hard because, you know, everybody wants to get in, especially like other athletes, but like 
if you're not really in it or if you expect too much out of it too fast, you guys know how it goes. You're playing the long game with it. Yeah, I'm playing the long game. I just feel like you have to you have to really like invest in like getting dudes on your team who are gonna win you these titles. So you're taking like risk building mm-hmm. a team and then if you don't win, you're like fuck. Well and you lose our team's kinda underwater right now. Well, see, yeah. well see, you that's lose. the thing. That's the thing about franchises because it's gonna be like the, the profit is gonna be split among all the teams. So you got so much profit sharing going on that guys are still making money regardless. Okay. Yeah. And once I own these franchises, I'm gonna be like fucking Amy or something, man. But oh, how do you, cool. if you Maybe don't win Amy? championships, how else do you make money outside of championships? Oh, the marketing is just ridiculous. Okay. And they also have in-game app purchases where we take a, a percentage of what we spend on the, on the, um, on the actual game. So they bring in like a camouflage weapon, a different skin for your character. Oh, they'll, okay. they'll do a banner or something like that. And because my team is red, black, and white, people love that color scale. So we just get bought even when people don't even know the game. So you, you can make your own banners and shit. Oh yeah, you can make a boss with a boys banner, <sighs> bro. That would be freaking sick. Yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah, like you get get then, get some then, little but, creative but stuff. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Yeah, yeah. Do it for like Fortnite. Yeah. Do it for like Fortnite. Fucking wolf skin. Just just go crazy. Wolf skin. I know. I fired you up, didn't it? Yeah, it did. But the 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 bus with the boys banner hanging. I think. Yeah, bro. Be sick, man. Really do it. Mm-hmm. Really set it off. Can you trade kids? Like, can you trade somebody to a different company? Oh yeah, I've done that multiple times. Really? I've had guys. <laughs> I've had I've had teams I've had teams I've yeah had teams. you enjoy that way too much I don't know if that's yeah. a good thing because it's because it's, it's it's crazy like what I'm telling you like I'm like in ownership I feel like I'm one of like these NFL like know, Amy yes like like John like, yeah, like, like John like J Rob because literally I've had people that like Roger to go Saffold to a team. says he is J Rob <laughs> that's the, <laughs> yeah that's had, the quote I've had, I've had kids want to go to these different teams and then it's like that new team has to buy them out they have to pay me to take them. Cause they have to buy them out of their contracts. My man's Manchester it's United crazy, out here, dude. It really is. Are they hardworking? Oh man, I've had to teach some of these guys how to be men, how to help, how oh. to, like help take care of themselves, counseling, how to be cool with their money. But other people are douches and they got to leave. And then there's other people that you know really rise up. And then I'll send money over, like give me this guy. You don't want him. All they do is talk shit about him. Damn. Could I give you some advice? What's that? On an example of the show of hard work. What's that? Georgia Boot. I hope you guys like this clip. If you want to continue to be for the boys, you need to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and check out our playlist. We have all the links right here on the screen. As always, biggest of hugs and tiniest of kisses. Also, go check out the full episodes, but always for the boys.